breathe, relax, aim, squeeze. The primary mission of a sniper is to provide long range precision fire on key targets and select targets of opportunity. However, Staff Sergeant Michael McCook, sniper section leader for the HHC 2nd 124th Infantry Battalion, says there's much more to sniping than pulling the trigger. It's the stalking onto a, an objective undetected. It's sitting in a hide for 24 to 72 hours, uncomfortable. Whether it's raining, whether it's hailing, whether it's lightning, you're sitting there gaining eyes on or the eyes and ears for the battalion. Saturday, his sniper section simulated the U.S. Army Sniper School test record fire one. He says the key to success is teamwork. Your spotter uh, is looking down range, reading wind, and giving you a call before you even squeeze off a round. It's an exercise Sergeant McCook is using to prepare his non-qualified snipers for the real test at sniper school. Candidates like specialist Jeremy Sissio. I want to be a sniper. It's, uh... It's something that, you know, for some reason, I've been attracted to ever since I was a little kid. Specialist Sissio and his spotter have seven minutes to range five targets, adjust for wind speed, and engage. I'd like to be kind of on the forefront of you know, helping our, our nation win more. Bullets pierce the air, and each bullet that Sissio sends far brings him closer to sniper school. Passing sniper school would definitely be, be a life goal for me. I want to build their confidence that they can do this, and when they go, they have all the knowledge in front of them. They just got to pay attention to the instructors and execute. Not only is McCook setting up his section for success, he's also working to build esprit de corps with Florida's other sniper sections. We're going to set up interstate competitions and send the first place and second place teams to both the International Sniper Competition in Fort Benning, Georgia, and the Winston P. Wilson Sniper Championship at uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Getting into his unit isn't easy. You need to be expert, three expert qualifications in a row and over 270, uh, 90 in each category on the APFT. But once you're in, you'll never want to leave, according to McCook. Because you're shooting guns and smelling gunpowder, ain't nothing like it.